Separation is confirmed. We see station move away. That's been my home for so long. I got a sense of, wow, we're just alone in this tiny little capsule now. To hear David Saint-Jacques describe his journey back to Earth. Eventually, we hit the atmosphere. And you can feel that. The spacecraft separates into three pieces. Boom, three explosions. And then you start to feel the wind, a wind buffeting. You know, you're being jerked around with the wind. But you're going so fast. That's when you realize how fast you're going. The incredible speed, the force of gravity, the parachute opening with a jerk. And that's really violent. That's like going on a, you know, a, a joyride at the amusement park where the capsule is spinning all around. And then eventually, bang! Strong, it's like a car crash. Strong impact on the ground. And then everything is quiet. Nothing moves anymore. And you've made it back to Earth. And it was a beautiful moment. It's no wonder. After a ride like that, he emerged from the space capsule feeling like yeah, this. I mean, gravity is not my friend. I, uh, I'm having these, uh, you know, I need to learn, to learn to walk again. For me, it was just balance and nausea. I felt completely unable to stand up. Today, just days after landing, Saint-Jacques says his body is adapting. I can walk around. I started to run. Um, I started the, you know, just the normal process of uh, readaptation and uh, getting a sense of my own body again. So gravity is, has become my friend again. He says holding his wife and three children, feeling the weight of their bodies in his arms after months of weightlessness was a joy. Good morning. Let's have a look outside. Saint-Jacques spent 204 days in space, more than any other Canadian on a single mission. Now, he says, it all feels like a dream. You can feel that... We are an extension of the human mind up there. It's the, it doesn't make you feel small. On the contrary, it makes you feel part of something huge, which is the power of the human mind to expand our world. He says what he'll miss most is the camaraderie with his colleagues and the breathtaking view of the earth from above. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Longueuil, Quebec.